Hey, it is Max here, and in this tutorial, you will learn everything about the Messenger Ref URL inside ManyChat. It's a really handy tool to get more subscribers into your Facebook Messenger bot. So in this tutorial, I'll explain what it is, what you can use it for, and I wanna show you a bunch of cool different use cases, including some really cool tricks with the payload, it's called. I'll explain in a bit what that is. So let's just dive right in. So first of all, what is a Messenger Ref URL? Now the name basically already says it a bit. It's a URL that you can generate in ManyChat to forward people to your Facebook Messenger bot. And you can basically share it everywhere like you would do with a regular link. So you can, for example, share it on your Facebook page, in your Facebook group, in email newsletters, as a link on your website, as a link in a button on your website, in the YouTube description, in on printed materials, and like lots of other things. Like it's really simple. You have a URL, you can share it everywhere like you would do with a regular link, right? Now, what can you use it for? Now, also for lots of different things. You can, for example, use it to get people from your email list into your bot, but you can also use it, for example, to add lead magnets and content upgrades to articles on your website. So instead of like a form, you maybe have like a little link. So I'm, for example, doing this. Here I have an article about a giveaway with ManyChat, and then you see here to get a template, people can click this link and this is a Messenger ref URL. So if someone clicks that, they do not have to fill out the form, they just go to Messenger and get their template. So that's really cool. Now you can also use it to get your YouTube viewers into your bot. So usually in my YouTube description, I have a Messenger ref URL where people can get like a template or a cheat sheet or like a little checklist. And then when they click that, they go to Messenger. Now you can also use it to, for example, give people inside your Facebook group, if you have one, uh, a little welcome package, or you could maybe even post a quiz that people can follow in Messenger on your Facebook page. So lots of different things that are possible. Now, some things that you have to keep in mind is that when someone clicks your Messenger Rev URL, while they are not a subscriber yet, they will first get your greeting text and a get started button. So this is where you set it up. So you have to go to settings, then to general, and then you see your greeting text. So when someone clicks your messenger ref URL for the first time, so when they're not a subscriber yet, they will basically see this. They will see like a little photo, the page it is, and then your greeting text that you can customize. So I always like to keep it like really short, just say something like, hey Max, click the button below to get started. So this is how you set that up. So it's really important that we tell people click that get started button because people only become a subscriber after they click that get started button. So it's really important to yeah, give that like a clear call to action basically. Now what you can also do and which we'll also show you in a bit is that you can add a payload to messenger ref URLs to store something into a custom field. Now, how do you set this up? So I want to dive into ManyChat and I'm going to show you how you can set up a Messenger ref URL. And after that, I want to show you some cool tricks. So go over to your growth tools, click new growth tool, and then down here, you will see your Messenger ref URL. So the first thing that I like to do is I like to give it a name. Um, often I just call it URL and then what it is for, download, chatbot, checklist, for example. And then first it will ask the opt-in action. So which flow should be sent after someone clicks that messenger ref URL and that get started button. So what you can do is you can edit the flow that ManyChat is creating for you by default. So by default, you have here like, welcome Max, thanks for subscribing, blah, blah, blah. Now, a bit boring. So you can click this to edit this flow or you can click replace to like select one of the flows that you already have created. Now then at setup, you will see, well, I'm gonna save this, that you have your messenger ref URL here. So this is like your Facebook page. And this is the ref parameter so that ManyChat knows which, uh, yeah, which growth tool it is, which messenger ref URL it is. So you have to add something in here. So for example, chatbot, chatbot checklist, click save. And then you see now here that we have our Facebook page and then the ref is chatbot dash checklist. Now, and then if you want, you can save a payload to a user field. So what that basically means is that when you copy this URL and I'll put it in this URL here, what you can do is you can add two dashes 
and then everything after those two dashes will be stored in the custom field that you select here. So if I would select here one, two, three, four, five, six. So then when someone will click this link, it will be stored into the custom field that I select here. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna show you some cool possibilities with that payload. And it's some of my favorite tricks. So what you can do is you can use the payload to deliver multiple downloads with one messenger ref URL, because I was getting a bit crazy that I had to create like 50 different messenger ref URLs for all my different downloads, because I've lost lots of templates, checklists, flows, automations, whatever. So to do that, we can, after the payloads, after the two, two dashes, you can add the name of the download and then in the flow that it will show you in a bit, we can check which download that person requested. Now, what you can also do is you can track the source. So where is that subscriber coming from? Like, I think that's really important to track which of your marketing efforts are generating you the most subscribers. So to do that, we have again, our name of the download and then underscore source underscore YouTube dash description. Because then we can check if the subscriber the custom field, the payload basically contains this. And then we know, ah, this person clicked the link in the YouTube description somewhere. Now, what you can also do is you can use the payload to store email addresses into a custom field. So this is especially cool. If you already have an email list, you wanna get people into your bot, then you can dynamically add the email address as a payload to the messenger ref URL. And then when people click at the link, they become a subscriber and then their email address will be stored into the email custom field so that you do not have to ask for it again. So I will show you also in a bit how that works. So let's go back over to our growth tools. I will delete this. And then we have something that I called master download. So I will show you this flow in a bit. So let's first go over to setup. So here you see that I have set the ref parameter to download because we're going to use this messenger ref URLs for downloads only. And then we save the payload to a custom user field. So you first have to go over to your settings. So let's go over to settings and create that custom field. So go over to custom fields and then you have to create something that's called opt in. So this is where we store yeah, what people basically opt in for and set it to text. And you also wanna create a second custom field called source so that we can store where that person is coming from. So opt in and source. So I already created those cause I'm not going to do it again. So then we go back over here you see that we do that. And then I wanna show you what our flow looks like. So we have this messenger ref URL, right? And then we're going to add something like this to this URL. So the name of the download and the source of where that person is coming from. So this string, so this string of text will be added into the payload. And then our task is to check inside our flow with conditions, which download the person wants and also what the source is for that person. So that works like this. So we have our messenger ref URL, we'll start and the person will first get a message that says, hey, Max or hey John or whatever that person's first name is. Then we check if our source custom field that we just created is unknown. So is it still blank for that subscriber? If yes, then we check what the source is of that subscriber's opt-in basically, because we only want to store it the very first time. Like I only want to know okay, how did this subscriber get to know me for the first time? So if they get like multiple downloads, then it is going to skip this because then the source will already have a value. Now, how does this work? So we check if the opt-in contains, and then here you see, for example, source underscore YouTube dash description. That's this, right? So if the opt-in, so the payload basically contains this, then let's go back over here then we follow this line here and then you will see that it sets the source to YouTube description. So then we always know this person got to know me through the YouTube description. Now maybe I shared um, the messenger ref URL as a pinned comment on YouTube. Now then we check, does the opt-in contain source underscore YouTube dash pinned dash comment? Then we set the source custom field 
to YouTube pinned comment now, and so on and so on. You see also that I have it here, website article, website about me, email download. So if somebody would click this link right here, then it will contain website articles and then I know that that person got that download, got to know me for the first time through reading one of my articles. So I think that is really, really handy. So I definitely recommend you to implement something like that. And then we check if that same opt-in custom field contains a certain download that we have. So we edit this, right? Chapelt checklist here, chapelt checklist. So we're going to check with this condition, does the opt-in contain chapelt dash checklist? If yes, we say, here is your chapelt checklist. Now, and then you can add like a little preview maybe, and then a button to your website where people can download that checklist. And then just to keep the profile clean of the subscriber, we will clear the subscriber custom field opt in. So that's basically that. I know it's a little bit complicated, but again, I will just put a copy of this flow in the description here on YouTube uh, below so that you can maybe study it if you want. But it's actually really simple. So we store the name of the download into the uh, as a payload into that custom field and then also where that person is coming from. So it's important that you always stick to the same format, basically. Now, another thing that I wanted to show you is how you can basically store the email address into a custom field by using the payload. So what you do, and this is slightly different, so we're going back over to our growth tools, and then you see here that I created one called email opt-in chapel checklist. So it will start a flow, which we'll also show you in a bit, and then you see here that we have a messenger ref URL, so it's like this, so we have our Facebook page, question mark, ref is checklist. You see here, I've set it to checklist. And then we save the payload to a customer user field called email. So unfortunately, you cannot use a system field here. You cannot use the email system field. Maybe that changes in the future. So be sure if you watch this video a while after I posted it. So we store it into the email user field. And then when we copy this, let me go back over to Active Campaign. So I'm using Active Campaign, but yes, if you're using Mailchimp or Drip or ConvertKit or Infusionsoft or whatever, you can also do this. So in Active Campaign, it works like this: you select the text that you want to create a link of, then you create a link, and then you see here that I basically already did it. So we paste our link, dash dash. Everything after this will be stored into the payload, and then we add the email variable. So dynamically, the email of the person that receives this email will be stored into the payload. And then this is what happens. So then yeah, the email will be stored into that. And then I have a little flow created where I set the opt-in to something else because we cannot set uh, multiple things into the payload. We cannot say like, okay, I wanna store the email into the user field and I also wanna store something in the opt-in custom field. Unfortunately, that's not possible yet, maybe in the future also, but to like work around that, we set the custom field opt-in to chatbot-checklist source email download. It's slightly different because again, we cannot store and the email and the opt-in basically. And then we go to this flow that I showed you earlier so that we do not have to create that all over again. So yeah, that was basically it, how you use the messenger ref URL. So I hope that this was helpful. If it was helpful, give this video a little thumbs up. That really always helps me a lot. And be sure to subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more tutorials like this. The next tutorial is also gonna be really cool. It's about how you can capture email addresses in Facebook Messenger with ManyChat. Okay, I will see you in the next one.